Hello, it is kind of nighttime. <laughs> well, you can see me. Excuse my hair today. This is very untamed right now hair. Just was at Giant Eagle and I can say that today I had my panic moment. We, we part and I went inside. I just, oh my gosh, look at this. That looks so cool. Over here, it just turned, it's the... The gas thing, it just turned off the light. You're kind of crooked, it's okay. Anyway, so we parked at Giant Eagle and there were a lot of people. I was like, not comfortable with going in. I went outside a little bit, I recorded on my phone and then I came back to my mom, I'm like, I, I can't, I really advise against going inside. And it's come another time, but she insisted and we went and I am just hoping and praying. There was so many people, there weren't that many people, but I feel like it was more crowded than usual, but it was also, some people were aware to not be close to each other, but you kind of also didn't really have anywhere to go. It was a whole mess. It was a whole mess. I don't, <laughs> oh gosh, I am I'm very stressed right now. I'm extremely extremely stressed. Do I even have my phone on me? And that's kind of I that's why I'm here. I'm recording this. I'm usually doing just regular vlogs, but I just edited la yesterday's vlog and there were a couple things where of course I forgot to mention something or I, I had like a half thought. I'm sorry about that. You probably wouldn't even know what that would be, but I know as I was editing and now I should have jotted down those notes because now I don't remember what they were. Maybe tomorrow, tomorrow's video. I don't know how I'll do these videos and I don't know if it matters. I don't know if internet will still go. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's going to happen because it's just there. I don't really, I feel like a lot of us don't really know, can't imagine how it all will trickle out. What I do know is that I'm struggling with the place that I work at and it's not the only place that is refusing to put their employees first. My mom works somewhere where it's a change and one branch said to its employees you know stay home if you don't feel comfortable coming in we understand at her branch it was all about sale 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 it's like again there's a time and there's a time i am not usually very much into that money mindset anyways i still don't agree with it but at the same time you have to adapt faster than that adaptability is how we survive and any animal on this planet survives i that's a side note there we are i don't know if i should say that but we are animals so it's really weird when coronaviruses can be transmitted from animals to other animals but rarely is it transmitted to humans i'm like we are animals though, so we're not excluded in that. It's just like crazy out there. And on top of that, all the conspiracy theories that I don't really know what they are, but my question to that, I'm not against hearing you out. I just wanna know who would benefit from this. In a capitalistic economy in the US and a lot of the countries of this world, who would benefit from such a huge economic hit in all countries? There's no country really that's been spared. There's a few that don't have cases, but that might also be just the testing or that it hasn't gotten to them yet, the, the everything. I, I want to know who would benefit from this. I can understand the measures being taken that those are political in businesses as well. You know, they don't always think for you about you as the employee, as the person. I can agree with that. That's not a conspiracy theory. That's just everyday life, unfortunately. I want to know who, what, I, first of all, I want to know what the conspiracy theories are because I haven't actually heard them. And then I want to know, except the two that I mentioned, and I want to know who would benefit from this. And don't tell me the U.S. Explain it if it is the U.S. or some other country. Please explain it to me how. But even just naming who would benefit, I feel like I would understand better. But having said that, let's move on to other things because life keeps going. And I feel one of the things that I would like to do is just what I used to do with this, these vlogs and everything. I want to share my experience and my perspective, point of view. If someone else out there has the same one, 
excuse me, and they might feel therefore that kind of sense of relief that someone else feels that way. Or I don't know. I don't really know. So how I feel right now is a lot of anxiety. I'm very anxious. Also in the U.S., I feel like at least experience, especially as adults, not many people that I found are very close with each other. So it's been a very lonely place for me. But like I'm, I'm definitely used to a culture where like you in times of panic and times where you might panic to prevent getting to the panic you talk to each other you call each other up you laugh about the situation you joke about the situation but also people taking it very seriously that's the the difference like people take it very ser seriously but you laugh about it you talk you find humor somewhere because there's always humor you play games is what i thought like monopoly virtual monopoly i don't know exactly i'll have to think of come up with games but the uh, video chat because we have that wonderfulness right now a video chat i don't know just i don't know i envy my little brother because he's been on skype with all of his friends the entire time <laughs> and i'm like where are my friends my friends are working from home i'm very frustrated that i can't work because that also would help sort of take my mind off of things and that's why i'm doing this i can't just sit and not do anything i go crazy to anyone who says that if you wouldn't have to go in you wouldn't do anything maybe some people i definitely can guarantee you i'm not one of those people i need to do something i need to have a purpose for my day otherwise i don't feel like getting up i don't feel like facing the day so this is my purpose right now in terms i don't know uh, exactly what terms uh, these will become because i don't know if that made any sense because i don't know my future i'm very anxious and frustrated with how not seriously stuff is seemingly being taken maybe I'm wrong but just how I my situation has been handled I heard nothing about compensation for the the past few days that I was forced to stay home without any symptoms without it, even any mention or anything also they want me to go back in after I have said repeatedly I don't feel comfortable coming in please let me know when I can work from home and I have also offered our help and even offered to contact someone else that's neutral you know it's not part of our family who can help with this remote process and it's just I can't really describe my frustration what I would label it label it as I don't know what that is my thoughts right now are kind of scattered after that giant eagle experience I'm so sorry I wanted to cry and then I was like no we're going in my grandfather now don't turn off the light don't turn off the light <sighs> I'm just, I'm, I'm feeling a lot of anxiety, a lot of anxiety. This does help a lot. I have to find things that are more constructive. I don't know. I, I wish I had a better video for you today. I guess I just wanted to share that I'm having a moment of anxiety today. It helped a lot to edit the video from yesterday. It really sparked joy doing it as well as editing it. I'm just scared. There's an invisible thing that we're trying to stay safe safe from. It's not just the virus, but it's also mentalities, what actions and measures will be taken. Just everything is, it's so invisible and sort of unprecedented, at least in my lifetime. And has, I've never lived through something like this as like a community even as a state or a city or a country to see things uh, shelves empty it's just very eerie i almost kind of was affected by that equally as much as just the the fact of being around people and of course like the moment someone coughs like you're like going the other way see this is the this is this is the thing in japan and taiwan and in, in korea i believe they have they wear masks and I, I don't know my mom told me about taiwan everyone is made to wear masks even though the masks aren't very useful but it helps a little bit and here no one like there was one person that i saw and it was us and someone else who had gloves and the gloves it's kind of like counterintuitive because you're putting it in the card but it's more for the touchpad at the self-checkout and definitely doing the self-checkout because you don't want the other person to like do that too i was in favor of avoiding the conveyor belt we had so many items though i did 
feel bad about that but yeah it's it's just a lot of anxiety on top of that is like your own anxiety i know i have anxiety about being needy there have been people in my life that made me feel bad about needing needing love needing comfort and they would exaggerate it into oh you're you always need something or you're just too needy or like you can't rely on yourself blah 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 which is like yeah i'm not a super person i can't do it all i can't be my own doctor and my own employer and my own food maker and just everything you know there's we rely on people every day and i don't understand why just for a little bit of comfort you can be made to feel so bad about that if you're going through that, I sympathize with you or empathize. I don't know which one. Because it's hard on top of everything in such a situation where you're anxious. And then you're also having this voice beating yourself down inside of like, don't say anything because people will judge, pre people will criticize and people will shame you. I went to work on Friday because I felt shamed into going to work. I've expressed that vocally on Friday to my boss. It's just, how does that help? It's just like people who can't take a moment to be human sometimes. And I'm not criticizing my boss. I don't know how, you know, they took it. We've had like uh, plenty of good conversations. I mean, that's why I shared it with them because I felt they would understand, you know, because otherwise if I would feel that way towards them as well, then I wouldn't have shared it, you know. I guess that's what I want to do with this video. It's, uh, I guess, kind of short. And if you, on top of everything that's going on, the anxiety, of the unknown and the future you have this little voice inside that is making you feel bad for being scared or wanting to talk to someone just to have a conversation wanting to see someone through video chat because you can't meet up with them even if you have people that you live with even if you don't you know isolation is tough and don't be ashamed of that people will say whatever they say and I'm sorry for that I wish I could do something about it the only thing I can do is speak publicly like this and I don't think those people wouldn't necessarily understand it because I'm not sure exactly how they think things in a way maybe if I sit and really reflect on that and try to understand maybe I can come up with something for next time but I'm sorry if you feel that way and if you go through that because I'm going through that it's a lot of times that's also unwarranted a lot of times we think this ourselves but if we actually reach out to people they actually want to hear from us or they actually are happy to talk with us or they might feel the same way or they might want to be there for us so also be careful to not assume what people want or don't want and how they are there for you or not along with that it's when we assume something we subconsciously talk differently and act differently so when we are stressed out and we don't expect something and we don't expect the other person to want to be there with us through this time then we kind of talk or act in a certain way where it kind of does sort of if we don't vocalize that to them directly if we you know act indirectly it can sort of have that effect and it can become a self-fulfilling prophecy so be aware and careful of that as well i'm gonna try my best i know but i'm gonna go because your temperature is running high as well have a wonderful day i'll talk to you tomorrow or something uh, i know this was like kind of not a great uplifting video but there will be these times too i always said i'm gonna keep it real in all my vlogs and everything i'm gonna bring the upliftingness to it but also keeping it real i'm not going to sugarcoat or be fake so here we are because we are all going through it in our own ways and my way is different than your way and your way is different than other people's way but just talking about it with each other i think helps and also accepting we're all going through it differently helps and i constantly have to remind myself that and other things you know but have a wonderful day i feel like so tongue-tied today i'm sorry this is what anxiety does have a wonderful day i don't know peace love and compassion y'all and all that stuff cool bye